So we just got through coming to Changhua Hospital in Cebu because we're thinking of retiring here in Seattle, in Cebu, um, because uh, the new Trump ruling called the public charge rule would make it very hard for being to become a citizen or get a green card if you're over 61. So I just wanted to make sure if we decided to adjust our status, if we were comfortable with this. And I have to say that I was really impressed with this hospital. It's kind of like, in Seattle we have what's called a Harborview Hospital. It's a public hospital, but it's a major, major public hospital. It's a major treatment center, trauma treatment center. They bring people from all over, all over the United, the Western United States for emergencies and so forth. They have uh, nuclear medicine here. They have, uh, sounds like some of the latest MRI machines. Um, very efficient, incredibly efficient inside. So I would say it's an upgraded public hospital uh, to, of what you might see in Seattle, Harborview. Kind of an upgrade in some ways. Um, it's definitely, definitely a, a very good hospital. You can tell they really. It's very organized. I was impressed. Other Changhua, they have, uh, have their own school of medicine, medical arts building. This is these ho these hospitals are kind of like. This is a company of the Cebu Doctors Hospital. Oh, okay. Cebu Doctors Hospital is part of it. Okay, so they, they have their own parking. You pay, what, five, pe how many pesos an hour? Uh, this is nice, I mean, look at this. This is like first class here, this hospital. I remember that hospital, uh, I had this spinal Whoa. stenosis injection. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. I mean, this is I top of the line, man. This is pattern from that. Okay. Wow. Here's the newer Changhua Hospital, right? Is this Changhua? Yes. This is the newer one. Here's emergency. And uh, this is nice. So Bing, what do you think about the Changhua Hospital here? Very good, perfect. <laughs> I'll tell you. Excellent. I mean, we walked in there, we looked around. I see, but I, am in, I forget I am in the Philippines. You forget you're in the Philippines, I'm telling you. They won't allow any cameras inside, but this place was top of the line. I mean, this is like... It's like in the U.S. It's like a, a top of the line hospital in the United States. So the other Changhua is more like downtown is more like a glorified public hospital right. but this one in the city I should say like Harborview in Seattle yeah. but this one is it's like, like Mayo well so, yeah it looks like something Mayo Clinic you'd see a Mayo Clinic I mean this is incredible inside just incredible okay impressed it gives me and we learned that the ambulance services are very accessible around here. This is another f medical center here. School of Medical. This is called UCI Medical. This is probably a little more like the older Changhua. But they have a research center. The ambulance. You might not be allowed to take pictures. Beautiful. I'm impressed with this one. These are all the kids, they go to school and they have uniforms in the Philippines, which I think, just think is great. I wish we had that in America still. I just think it's great. Here's the afternoon traffic in Cebu. Look at this. Everyone's going back into the city. 
and they're going out of the city. <laughs> so we're here at the, at the, this is called Ace Arc. Arc. A-R-C. Arc. So I came in here for a medical exam. And uh, it's got one of the highest ratings in all of Cebu. And I'll tell you something, I'm impressed. Before you even come in, they have you be outside where there's fresh air. And uh, they want to make sure that you are, um, do not have, have any uh, fever or anything like that. And they do it outside where nobody can be exposed. They've got like a five star rating out of all the Cebu hospitals in Lapu Lapu in the Philippines that had higher than Chenghua, higher than everywhere else. Arc. This is in Lapu Lapu. I was really impressed. I, I mean, it's clean. It's very clean. So, um, it's very systematic. You know, and they, you're seeing it's quite quickly, aren't they? Compared to most places in the Philippines, aren't they, Bing? A lot of times you wait for hours and hours and hours. Right. I mean, we just got here. Have toilet paper. <laughs> toilet paper in the, in the bathroom. But they do have sanitizer and all that, but common in the Philippines. But the doctor, she said, the surgeon is gone, it's a holiday, but the internist lives just a, 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 a very closely and he'll come in, oh, yeah, they see me. Yeah, holiday today. It's just amazing. I was really, I've been very impressed. It's a revolution in the person. So, just something to consider for all you guys and, and, uh, and people in the Philippines. So we just went to the pharmacy. We saw the doctor, internist. He was able to diagnose very quickly and very efficiently, explain the whole thing to me, the issue I'm having. And this was all done in a very short time. Prescribed some antibiotics and, uh, and some uh, types of cream. And uh, very impressed. The place is really clean. Really impressed. Probably some of the best medical care I've had in a long time. Here comes Bay. This is three times a day. So this was the Ark Hospital. And uh, probably one of the best in Lapu Lapu, Philippines. Probably one of the best treatments oh, I've ever received. Bike. Certainly better than anything in the Philippines. I've had. So that we can get this prescription. The and they have a pharmacy there and so forth. So 